Recording. Hi guys, this is Cham Bell at the Digital Thread Hub here in Michigan again. Today we're going to look at an entirely different experience. In this case, we are actually going to do a full walkthrough of a uh, holographic environment. Uh, this environment was created leveraging the assets of uh, Unity as the platform or environment that we're working in. Uh, for your awareness, direct competitors would be things like uh, Autodesk's Stingray capability as well as the Unreal Engine, uh, both of which provide some fairly formidable capabilities. Uh, what we're hopeful today is not to only demonstrate the ability to walk the environment with possibly some familiar assets, uh, but the ability to demonstrate a high, high, high fidelity image uh, along with the ability to animate it as well. So what I'm going to do at this point is simply walk this environment. We've got a, uh, a panel over here. Uh, which is of interest to a variety of businesses. Uh, our intent with being able to walk an environment like this is the um, idea to create the digital twin of an environment, uh, to be able to evaluate the MEP or mechanical, electrical, and plumbing information as it pertains to a real wall and digital wall, and our ability then to influence that environment and change it accordingly during the process of a build uh, or after. Um, of course, given consideration to uh, the ideation phase of things as well. So we do have a lot of assets in this room. This is a really obviously busy space with all the chairs. Um, that is not problematic. I'm going to walk right through this wall because uh, there are no colliders on. But again, what we want to be able to demonstrate here is the marriage of the digital or augmented or mixed reality space and the digital environment. And just take a gander around. Again, we have full up and down in the environment. This is a nice vase. I'll turn all the way around and just simply identify the table and chairs and TV. Again, the intent here is to be able to demonstrate that the sky is the limit. And I'll simply come over to this side of the room and appreciate the assets that are effectively outside the building. Uh, on the far wall, we did place a fairly significant asset, uh, which is, um, and I'll pause here so that this stabilizes a little bit. We have our solar panels on the far wall, the intent being to be able to evaluate some level of efficiency, uh, how much something is drawing, uh, and to really begin to describe the experience of uh, not individual components or not individual appliances, but to give consideration to the broader experience of something like power. Uh, we want to be able to say something about the data that we can provide, uh, give consideration to it being an outcome and the experience of power in general uh, being uh, an output as well. So again, I'll just take a gander over here. We're going to lose a little bit of this on the windows, but again, the ability to demonstrate, again, an animated object. You can actually see that spinning. Uh, and if we were to sweep all the way around, which I'll do very quickly here, We'll get a perspective on what is on the front of these. This is going to get a little lost in the glare of the windows. But again, this is just to generate uh, some ideas on how much we can accomplish. All right, so that's the extent of today's uh, presentation. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Again, this is Cham Bell at the Digital Thread Hub. Thanks for your time.